As I made my way through the back roads of the moors, I was feeling good about the weather. The sun was shining over Tullymore, and I was hopeful for a dry night and cloud-free skies for what I had in mind. It was hard to believe it was nearly six weeks since my last trip out, and as I pulled into the car park, I couldn't wait to get back out for another wee adventure. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd get a, a wee sneaky walk in before Christmas. Um, yeah, it's the middle of December, and I'm back up in the mornings. Um, this time I'm over at the, well I've parked up at Happy Valley. Um, and we're gonna, gonna take a walk around the, the Fafni Dam um, and camp there for the night. Also hoping maybe to get a wee bit of a sunset as well and maybe a sunrise in the morning. Uh, fingers crossed, it's been a bit cloudy all morning, but uh, it's starting to, the sun's starting to peak out now. Um, so fingers crossed we, we get a bit of sunshine this evening. Um, so anyway, I want to get cracked on here, get the tent up, so I'll see you around the fall thing. Found a lovely wee spot here. Um, it's quite nice. Turned into a lovely evening as well. The sun's the sun's just setting over towards Belga. And I don't know you probably seen some footage there, the reflecting across the reservoir. Um, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. So I might be too late to try and get the, the sun setting, um, but I'm going to crack on. I think I'm going to go up the side of Meal Meal Beg here for a wee run, and uh, see if we can catch any footage of the sun going down and so I'll catch you over there. Well guys that's me up on the side of Meal Beg. I, uh, I've been trying to you can probably tell I'm punctured. <laughs> My head's glowing. I think that's the term. <laughs> yeah, you can see the sun is setting but the cloud I'm fighting against this cloud the big band of cloud has just come in and I think it's going to ruin the shot. Um, but well, well, fingers crossed, we might get uh, it might clear and we'll get something. So we'll give it a few minutes and see what well, happens. Well, guys, I uh, got some footage there. I don't, don't know what it's going to be like because we, we time lapse. It was just unfortunate. They, you know, when I got here, the sun was still there, but there was just this wee band of cloud coming in. Uh, Joe, it did give us a wee bit of uh, some nice cloud formations. Um, so the time lapse might turn out all right. We'll see, um, but yes, this is what you do. You take your, you come up, and you you get what you you get, don't you? But anyway, I um, I've just noticed the the sun's gone down and the the moon's just coming up behind me there. It's uh, yeah, it's turned into quite a nice evening. So I was going to head back down to the tent, but you know what? I'm not really in a hurry tonight. I'll uh, I might I might head on up up meal 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 more meal bag a bit, um, and see if I can see if there's anything interesting on up there.
to go up uh, up to the top of Meatbag and I'm glad I did. I got some fantastic footage of the uh, these clouds being pushed over the side of I think it's butter. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Really, really glad I made the effort to come up here now. It's starting to get dark though, and uh, I need to get back down to the, the tent. Um, it's quite windy as well. Hi guys, welcome back to the ranch. Um, I've uh, yeah just got the wee stove on. I mean, well, not the stove. I've got the uh, what is it? It's the titanium honey stove. Um, it's a guy Bob Cartwright. He has a, a a podcast as well, outdoor station. But he got the manufactured these and um, he sells them on his website. Um, great wee job. Um, so light as well um, but uh, the plan for dinner um, if you're tuning in for any of my culinary delights my usual um, cooking things you'll be a bit disappointed this week I um, I found this at the back of the cupboard and it's nearly it's, I, it's nearly past its use by date so we need to get that used up it's a way for chicken tikka and rice so we'll get this boiled up. We'll just uh, put some water out of the reservoir there. So we'll, we'll stick this in and um, get that heated up. It's maybe a bit big for the pot. Yeah, we'll we'll make it fit. I, um, this is when accidents happen. There we go. Made the fit. Anyway, um, hopefully this will be nice. So, that was a good wee night up on the uh, side of Meal, meal Bag. Um, really enjoyed that. I was I was a bit disappointed. I thought I was going to um, I'd miss the sun. And um, I well, sort of did, but it wasn't too bad. But it, it, um, it was worthwhile getting up the side of the side of meal bag and up to the top um fantastic that cloud formation was amazing it was um so yeah you just don't know what you're going to get when you come out you don't um it's yeah <laughs> i uh you hear every creak of the trees um I remember uh, I was watching one of was it Colin from Frozen Mists, one of his uh, videos from actually from Fafni. So that's what, that's what put me in the idea of coming here. Um, he talked about uh, uh, a wailing banshee or something that he heard, um, but I can tell you, it um, I can understand where that's coming from. I thought I've heard a few myself tonight. Um, I think it is just the, some trees bending in the wind, but um, yeah, it can't give you a bit of a jump now and again. But uh, yeah, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll let this cook away here, and um, I'll come back to you when we're ready to eat it. See what it's like. Okay. Well, guys. I think that's sufficiently cooked. It's probably overcooked, but sure. We'll give it a go. Uh, oh, looking forward to this, actually. I'm absolutely starving. Let's see, how do we get into it? Switch this on, have a look and see. Oh wow. It smells like curry. Does it taste like curry though? That's the thing. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> oh, piping hot. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
flower. Oh, that's really nice. No joking. That is, <laughs> that is gorgeous. Um, let's have another go. Yep, just as nice as second time round as well. Um, right, guys, usual, go and get my dinner. Chat to you later. So, I am getting ready for bed, and uh, I've got the water boiling here. Um, just wanted to let you know about these wee purchases I got. I got these from a uh, place in America. They're wee. Uh, we water bottles. Um, they roll up quite neat. Um, and then you can um, put whatever you like in them. They are um, freezer proof. They are fire proof. You can actually put these on the fire and boil up your water in them. Um, <laughs> yeah. They are called boobies. Yes, you heard that right. Um, I don't think when they made these in America, they, they were thinking of the Northern Ireland market, but yep, boobies, B-U-B-I. That's how I pronounce it. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can get them different sizes. Um, this is the smallest one they do. I think that's about 350 mil. And this one here is the mediums about 600 and something and um and you can get one i think it's nearly like a liter as well it's it's massive but uh so the uh what am i gonna do with them so the nature getting colder um so the thought here is we hot water bottle or in fact two hot water bottles um i'm gonna fill this up and throw it in the sleeping bag um, so let's see how do we get on oh. so skull myself here not fill it right up there you go um, now what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to put it into one of my socks and throw it into the sleeping bag. Um, that should hopefully keep me right toasty in the middle of the night. Um, I think the big one's going to go down at the feet and this one here I'll probably throw under my oxters um, to keep me, keep me warm. Um, Aye, so we'll throw us in the sleeping bag and let you know how we get on. Well, that's me in bed. Um, snug as a bug in a rug uh, with my with my two boobies. Um, Fafni Dam. Um, haven't camped here in years. Um, must be 20, 20 odd years. More than a car to remember anyway. Um, it's a uh, it's a lovely wee spot. It's uh, nice and quiet, and tranquil. Um, the night there, it was it was lovely. The uh, there was a full moon, and just shining down across the the reservoir. Um, but anyway, yeah. Usually somewhere we just I just you know drive past going to somewhere else. But this time I thought, you know what. What actually was the point of Afni Dam? Um, so I looked it up. There was a, apparently it was built in, well, I think between 1904 and, and 1906. Uh, it was to supply the water to Portadown and, and Bam Bridge as it was um, becoming more urban. Um, before that, apparently they just used, you know, water buck or water barrels and local springs and wells for their water supply um so anyway that, that's that's where it was built um 
that was in the early 1900s. So apparently then, by the time 1940 came around in the war, Second World War, um, Port of Down and Banbridge had grown more and they decided, you know, that the, the current supply wasn't enough. Um, so they decided what they would do, I think there was two additional phases. They put a pipe in, they piped in the, the water um, from the river in the Happy Valley. So I'm sure you've probably seen it. Um, I'll, I'll put a clip in here. When I was walking around from the Happy Valley, there's a pipe um, that a lot of people would walk across um, on the way around. So that, that was the pipe that was laid in 1946, I believe, um, after the war to increase the water supply. And then obviously the second phase of that was the actual spell Gadam um, up at the at the Deer's Meadow um, and that was built. Um, but now we're we bit of history for you. Um, so yeah, that's me. Um, I will chat to you most likely in the morning. Um, yeah. <laughs>
practice in the, the late 1700s um, where farmers would have brought their cattle during the summer up into the, the mountains um, and they would have built these basic um, structures made from sometimes made from stone and sods um, to live in for three four months of the year um, so the, they would have brought their cattle um, with them and the cattle would have grazed um, behind me here is you know, they reckon was maybe some pasture land for the, the cattle um, just outside this, this bully um, so apparently the intellectuals call this trans humans. When I first read it, I thought it was transhumans. And that's to me suffering what happens when you open your sleeping bag first thing in the morning. But uh, <laughs> I take credit. Yeah. Um, they come in different um, varieties apparently. Um, from basic oval structures to I think this one's maybe a, a more complex one. It's actually, It looks like it's two rooms and um, it seems to be has the lower walls would have been made from stone, um, so you probably maybe had two families um, staying at this one. Oh, well, if I say families, what what apparently happened was they would have sent the wives and the young girls up into the hills, um, and the, I think the, the the husbands would have stayed at home. You could imagine there's about I think there's twelve. Apparently, these bullies um, around this wee valley here. Um, so you can imagine it would probably have been quite, um, quite a community thing um, back in the day. Um, you know, they've talked about the children would have just roam freely and played. You could imagine playing here um, for three months of the year in the summer. Wouldn't that be brilliant? <laughs> no work to worry about. So there's brilliant. I think we found two in the end. Um, I think there's a good few more on down the, the stream here, but uh, it wasn't bad. They see the mist come in, so I'm going to take that as a sign to quit way in my head. Um, maybe one of these days I'll I'll get a drone and come back and see if I can find some more. Um, I think that might be pretty cool. But anyway, I'll uh, we'll wrap it up for the day. Um, so. Let me know if you like that, hit the, the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Alright guys, good luck.